Is the Mawlid, is it an act of worship? That's the question. Is the Mawlid an act of worship? When they commit this practice, do they intend to get closer to Allah by doing this? Question. Yes or no? They do? No. Every act of worship is haram. Except, I repeat, every act of worship is indefinitely haram. Everything that you get close to Allah with is haram. Unless it was given by the guidance of light, the shining beacon, the star himself. The real star, not in Hollywood or Bollywood, but the real star. Muhammad ibn Abdullah. He's our star. So we ask the question: Did he celebrate his birthday? I'm asking you. He didn't. He didn't. The Barakallah. Who loved him most after that? The four Khulafa, Abu Bakr al Siddiq, Umar al Farooq, Uthman al Nuray, Abu Turab, Ali ibn Abi Talib. Does anyone have an objection to this? If you do, huh? repent to Allah Ta'ala. These four individuals loved him more than anyone on this earth. And no one loved him as much as these four. Did they celebrate his birthday? Absolutely not. Spot on. Yet they loved him more than anyone else. Okay, not enough to follow. Well, he even says, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati al khulafa al rashidin al mahdiyin min ba'di. Follow my way and the sunnah of these four caliphs. Did they do this? No. Did the companions, collectively, any of them, do this? No. And as the companions themselves said, what they were on is what you have to be on for your salvation. What earned them the pleasure of Allah will earn you the pleasure of Allah if you follow them. We go further. The companions, companions of Tabi'un, did they do this? No. Did their companions do this? The next generation? No. The next generation? No. This was introduced approximately 600 years after our beloved Muhammad was in London. 600 years! And by whom? Guess by him. The Rawafi. Shia is a good name for them. That's a Shia. The Rawafi. The rejectors. They're the ones that introduced this novelty. So we are following an introduction, a novelty that was given to us as an act of worship by the Rawafi. Aina akuluna. Where's our internet? Where's our mind? Where's our thinking? Where are we? And the essence of this was that they said, just as the Christians celebrate Lisa's birthday, Christmas, we deserve to celebrate our Prophet's birthday as well. We have more right to our Prophet than they to their prophet. Nonsense. Gibberish. We can continue and continue and continue. But for any believer, for any sincere believer, 
He will say, استغفر الله سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير يا الله I heard, I obey Oh Allah, forgive me for my past and you will show me For indeed our teacher did not part this dunya did not leave this earth only after he taught us everything that will get us to him and he did not teach us this. Secondly, those who actually celebrate the birthday is the day he died on. So how can you celebrate his death? So they don't. They really celebrated his death, not his birthday. According to the time they celebrate. Again, again, again. Is his path not the best? Did he not say, Wa ma rasul? Isn't that what we commanded? Did he do it? Did Abu Bakr do it? Absolutely not! That is nonsense what you just said. There's not even anything neat as evidence that is utilized for this innovative practice whatsoever. And it's shunned in Islam. Absolutely shunned and rejected. Absolutely. If you want to do this, you are following the innovation of the Rawafid. Period. They are more or less uh, doing an act that was given to you by a Rafidi that was a baseless, innovated heresy rejected in Islam. <laughs> Yeah.